One of the things you're going to be doing today is creating a mini farm. Trenton used to have 135,000 people. We're now down to just 82,000 people. So we got a bunch of vacant land around. We have really one supermarket in terms of one market that is over 40,000 square feet. We have one other grocery store in the city, 82,000 people. Being able to grow food closer to where people are at is very important, very important in places like Trenton. It's important across the planet. It's great to get out and sort of see beyond Princeton, even though this is only about 15 minutes away. You can see where you could be yourself after college, and um, you can do things like this and make a huge impact on the community. And um, I think it's really cool and it's, ins it's inspiring at the same time. The students here are incredibly focused and they're really strong supporters of each other. And that tightness, the warmth in their community, it's like a big family. And I really admire that and uh, kind of envy that for them. I'm glad to be able to be a part of that. This is planting a seed as far as I'm concerned. You're planting a seed for future involvement on behalf of student athletes later in life. The continuity is extremely important. Marty's been doing this for 30 years down here in Trenton, a Princeton student whose project became a uh, realization here and helping the community out. And you don't know which one of these kids will become another Marty Johnson. I mean, the community part was great, but I feel like one of the things I'm going to take from this was uh, the people aspect. You know, they got to introduce the people who we worked with, and uh, we got to see a lot about, you know, what people are doing to better themselves. So this is just an opportunity for a lot of people to, you know, have that second start, have that second second chance to really get something done. And there's a lot of people, you know, completing GED programs and making sure they're getting their high school diploma in order to, you know, better themselves. And that's really something that, you know, good to be a part of. So. Yeah, we're working out here with those guys that we met, with those girls we met, Shovel and Dirt. That's a great way to connect with these, these guys. Uh, well, I think these programs are important because, uh, for one, it helps us uh, step away from the school for a minute and realize, you know, aside from all the books and all the studying, there are some important things going on in the community and um, in the state that we're spending these four years in. Uh, and so being able to remove yourself kind of from that academic setting and do something that seems valuable like in real life to people, um, I think is really productive. The Princeton Varsity Club, just uh, what it stands for, uh, we try to instill that uh, into our kids to know that uh, it's a privilege to play at Princeton and it's also uh, almost like an obligation to, to give back. But I don't think they feel obligated, I think they, they do it uh, on their own. I think it's important for the alumni yeah. that we're athletes to see, I mean the Princeton Varsity Club does a lot of great things and you know we're able to put some practical experience on that and really accomplish some things that you know, the players will remember for a long time after we're done here. Having the help of uh, volunteer groups is extremely important. The ability to bring in young people and, and those that are interested and able to help us get this stuff ready, is, it's invaluable. I mean, we couldn't do this without the, the help of volunteers. 